Good morning. It is um, Friday morning. It's a beautiful day. Just a little bit of wispy clouds. It's a very blue skies. It's kind of warm. I'm wearing a sweater and wished that I wasn't because uh, I thought it was going to be cool, but it's not. It's probably in the 70s. And uh, I'm on my way to Home Depot. I need to purchase some um, plywood to build some. Uh, drawers and that's basically what I'm doing today. I also need to look at hinges. Hinges have become a problem for me because uh, it's been so long since I was a cabinet maker. Um, I used to um, I used to work with uh, the European style hinges, bloom hinges especially and I loved them but I don't remember a lot about them. Uh, that's what's being used in the, the cabinets that are uh, in this kitchen and uh, I have to be absolutely positively sure that it, that uh, once I get fit the ones that are in the cabinet and I should have taken a door but I didn't uh, I thought I thought about it and then changed my mind so and of course this job isn't close enough that I can just go run over and say hey I'm gonna grab a door so we'll see um, I'm probably going to have to go over, install the drawers, and uh, grab a door, take it to uh, either Home Depot or Rockler. Rockler's probably got what I need. And um, make absolutely perfectly sure I got the right hinges. Because once I do that, uh, fixing the cabinet doors is easy. It's just uh, ins installing and adjusting. That's easy. Don't want to buy the wrong stuff. I hate taking stuff back. So, makes me look bad. Val is st still sick. I didn't even wake her up this morning. She's She's been trying to sleep this uh, flu off. Uh, so, uh, hopefully I can get her into uh, the video at some point today. But basically, I'm going to be building drawers. That's my day. Okay, so I'm finally in my garage. I got the plywood that I need to build drawers. I'm positive that's uh, exactly what I need to build these four drawers. These drawers are a mess. I'm assuming they were built around the 90s, and um, which is when I was a cabinet maker. And I would have been horrified if uh, somebody made um, cabinet drawers out of uh, melamine uh, particle board. And it's just terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. It would have looked nice brand new but it would have fallen apart almost immediately, which is what it did. And it's been repaired and repaired and repaired until the, there was nothing left of it to repair. So, face frames are going to be salvageable. He does, does intend to paint them. He has somebody else doing some sort of whitewash process. Hopefully that's nice looking. I just need to make uh, the cabinets. I need to make the boxes. So, um, I will clean away my other project right here and get started on that. All right, so the first thing I need to do is to make a cut list. So I have to measure all these drawers. They all have some certain standard measurements. Uh, it's a 19 inch drawer. All the drawers are 19 inches deep, exactly. All the drawers are exactly was a big surprise and explains why they are such a mess. Um, I actually never seen a professional do this but they actually just uh, stapled a bottom to the case of uh, of the drawer which is 
not going to hold at all, especially when you're working with a plastic coat like melamine. There's no way to glue it together. The only things holding it together are the um, uh, brad nails that were used to put it together, and then it sits on a um, slide, first slide. So that's the only thing holding the bottom on. So it's sitting on it, so I guess it's okay, but as you can see, it's completely falling to pieces. Now what it should have had was a dado, which is a slot that is cut all the way across the entire drawer and uh, so that the um, bottom is actually being held up by the box itself instead of just nails. Um, I didn't consider this when I pulled the drawers and I didn't measure the cabinet opening and I'm a little concerned. The standard cabinet opening is between five and six inches. That's from uh, top to bottom. And uh, the face frames on these uh, drawers look like it's to fit a, a standard five inch opening. But I don't want to assume. The drawer depth is less than expected and I want it to be a standard fit designed specifically for these uh, drawer slides which are bloom. So I got a phone call into the uh, customer, asked him if he had opened that he, if he would measure the opening. So here's a box, a uh, drawer box that I built for myself some 25 years ago. And I had the grain going the wrong direction mainly because I didn't care. This was a, a drawer that was going into a cabinet that I built for my garage. Now here's the cabinet. It's um, a rolling cabinet. But it, everything about this has standard American face, face frame dimensions. So, including the the deep drawer that I, I built, this deep drawer is designed to come out and uh, use like a crate. So, a lot of fun putting this together. I didn't use any kind of joinery I, except for um, a butt joint glued and stapled together on the edge. I did a round over on the top, which I'm not going to do on this one because there's still drawers there and um, these have a flat top. And so I'll match it that way. The roundover looks nicer, but I, since I, if I don't have to do it, I'm not going to do it. I'm still worrying about the um, dimensions of the uh, depth of the cabinet, of the drawer, I should say. And I'm waiting for that. It's on! Hi! Hi. How are you doing? Pretty good. What are you doing? <laughs> oh boy, that sounds like fun. Does Quan want to get introduced to the neighborhood? Oh, look at the hair. Yeah. <laughs> you want to be on our YouTube channel? Is there a neighborhood community? Hi, everybody. Hey, I'm Quan. I'm black and I outside, white and inside. I have a white tail. A marshmallow tail. You have a, a white tail. tail. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> it's an inside joke. All righty. <laughs> All right, so I never heard back from my customers, so I didn't get to build the, the drawers. So I know it's important, that measurement was vitally important. I will text him again, hopefully I'll get it tonight, but I will do it tomorrow. However, um, I built this today. This is my infrared light that I bought for, my, for the Ghost Channel. And if you want to see how I built it, you can go over there and watch. Hey, everybody. I got my voice back. I still feel like crap though. <laughs> my glands are still swollen and my ears are hurting and I ache all over. But I am starting to feel a little bit better. You are? Good. Yeah. So, finally. But right now I'm cold. We got the door open so the animals can go in and out and it's cold in here. Well, I'll chase them in. They're probably already in, but I'll close the door. I'm pretty sure they all are. Um, 
I don't know. Uh, well, I know Kev what Kevin did today, uh, but other than that, I don't know what else you did. What else did you do today? Well, I tried to build drawers. You know, I was actually on a deadline, but I ran into an issue because of dimensions. Whoever built this kitchen didn't use standard dimensions, didn't use standard materials, didn't, and just basically did crappy work. So. Um, I didn't measure the drawer opening from top to bottom because I assumed it was a standard drawer, drawer opening and it wasn't. Yeah. So I had to get the um, homeowner to uh, measure it for me and he didn't get home from work until like 6. So I didn't get anything done except beating up and knocking apart the drawers and uh, uh, getting some measurements. That's about it. And didn't you get a call from Anita? Don't you have to go back to Nikki and John's old house? Yeah, that'll be Monday. I have to go to um, do some work over at the old house. So that'll be Last interesting. from the past. Yay. <laughs> and I built a, um infrared light for our uh, ghost investigations. And I, I did the whole thing as a, a build and uh, with uh, a uh, part list and everything. So I'll go over to the... PIN channel and check that out. It's going to go up tonight. And that's about it. And I slept most of the day and I think that's why I'm finally feeling a little bit better because I have not been able to sleep with feeling like this. Mm -hmm. And since I've gotten the medication from the doctor I've been fighting the sleep and I finally slept. So, <coughs> so at least I was able to sleep and I feel better today but um, so that's about it um, I'm finishing up Glee and doing some coloring and sleeping and just kind of trying to kick this but we're gonna go ahead and call it an evening we hope you enjoyed a little bit of something that you may have seen in our video today if you did Please give us a favorite. Please give us a thumbs up. Leave us a comment down below. Share our video with your family and friends. But, what? 